Well, Candace Owens was fired, you know, from her position at the daily wire. And, you know, everybody was, was thought that was possibly coming because of the rumblings that she had, uh, with her and Ben Shapiro, then a lot of her positions that she's been taking lately. But let me roll this short clip from old Candace here, um, about, you know, what happened. Hey guys, it's Candace. The rumors are true. I am free. Welcome to my locals page. So much to talk about. Obviously, I'm going to take a couple of weeks here just to rebuild and to refocus and to create something that is actually mine and something that can't be threatened or taken because it belongs to me. I can't tell you enough how much your support has meant to me over the years. We're just getting started. Candace was let go because when I seen Candace last interview that she did with a rabbi, and I just knew, I said, oh boy, oh boy, boy, boy. But Candace already knew the writing was on the wall. That's why Candace is, went to Joe Budden and did an interview with him. And she went on the Breakfast Club. Candace already knew. I saw Candace whole tone just change. She started pivoting. Candace, was, she's trying to pull an Ebony K. Williams. Now, what you say, what do you mean by Ebony K. Williams, Phil? When Ebony K. Williams used to be on Fox News, right around the time when she was about to leave, Fox News, Ebony K. Williams started coming around black people a lot, you know, getting on different panels with black people and hollering at black people. And and now she's with the griot and all of that. So she's she with a you know black platform and all of that. So what I'm thinking, Candace is trying to pull the Ebony K. Williams hustle. Well, she gonna try to come do the same thing, but see, this is the difference, Candace. This is the difference. Ebony K. Williams didn't say the things that you said though. Yeah, she said things in the past that maybe we like, huh? But she didn't come out during George Floyd in the middle where all black people are upset, won't justice about what happened to that brother. And she didn't denigrate George Floyd or brought up his record or anything else. She didn't do that, Candace. You did. Candace, you came out here defending police after they took the lives of black American people. And you kept, you know, you kept on doing it, kept on defending the police, Candace. Nobody had forgotten that. You, you attacked the black community for a very long time. And the same people that you attacked the black community for turned on you and got you right on out of there. You see, Candace, if you were smart, you would have, you would have known that you can't lay, you can't get in bed with them. You can't. But I mean, you've done it literally, but you can't do that because they will never, never, never uh, show loyalty to you. They will never uh, 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 treat you any kind of way. Let me tell you something, Candace, because, because you, may be, you may listen to this. Candace, years ago, I was on a radio show and I was actually talking to a white nationalist. And this white nationalist was, I asked him a question about people like yourself, Candace you know, black people who go over there with them, rail against the black community. I asked him a question about those kind of people. And he said, well, you know, we don't like them at all. No different than any other black person we don't like. He said, but we'll use them to say things that we can't say because we'll get, you know, in some sort of trouble. So we use them to say it. He said, but this is what this white nationalist told me. He said, but he said, really, we don't trust them more than the average black person. I asked him, well, why is that? He told me at the time that he don't, can't trust them at all because he said, how is it that you could turn against your own race for another one? He said, how is it that you could denigrate your own race for somebody else? Like you're not a part of that race. He said, it doesn't even make sense at all. He's saying we can't trust this person because if they're willing to do that to their own people. What would they do to us? That's what that white nationalist told me. And I'm like, Oh, okay. It makes plenty sense. That's why they have to, uh, do them bad when they get rid of them. That's why, but yet they still don't learn. They still don't learn. You have somebody else lining up, want to take Candace spot who thinking, well, she only got, she only got fired because she said this and then a third, you know what? I'm not going to talk about this. I'm only going to just be cruel to black people 
That way I'll keep my job, right? It's always some silly black person who would do that. Now, Candace is going to try to rebrand herself. Candace is talking, I'm just going to, I was just concerned about the black community and all that. She's going to try to do all that, right? But Candace, the rebrand, I don't know, think it's going to work because you can't come with, I was just trying to make the black community better. If you're trying to come back, you have to come back groveling, literally. You're going to have to grovel. You're going to have to uh, uh, beg for forgiveness. You're going to have to apologize. You have to do so much of that, right? And I don't know if your, your ego will allow you to even do that to black people. You're going to have to explain what you said, why you're saying it, and how you was wrong. You have to say all that. And even after doing all that, some black people still not going to want to hear what you got to say. Some may give you a chance. Some may say, okay, well, Candace, we'll put you on probation after all of that, publicly doing that, right? Candace thinks she's going to transition from the Daily Wire to her own page, YouTube, whatever else. Candace understand that crowd is not going to follow her. They're going to make her go check out her first couple of shows to see if she's talking the same, but they're not going to support her like that. She's going to find out. Her support tanked. This is why she's trying to come around the black community and say, hey guys, you know, I, I understand what you're talking about too. I've been trying to tell y'all this time. Like, nah, Candace, Candace, come on now. Come on, Candace. Cause, because when you was taught, when you went to that reparations hearing, the HR 40 hearing, Candace, you wasn't supportive of reparations, Candace. You were speaking against reparations. Black people ain't forgot that, Candace. And now you gonna come creeping around right now? Candace, you got an answer for all that, Candace. You got an answer. You could have sat in front of me on the Breakfast Club and I didn't ask you about that rep reparations. I didn't ask you about what you said about George Floyd. Man, BLM, you know, I don't care about that. I'm talking about the things that matter. All the time you defending cops taking the life of black Americans. Oh no, we would have to, we would have a talk. Oh no. Charlemagne and them let you get away with it. We'll get away with not even asking you a question. Like what? I don't know what's wrong with them, but if you could see, that's why you won't come on a platform like mine, Candace, because we're going to have that conversation. I'm not going to be rude to you, but we're going to have that conversation because you sitting up here denigrating black people. But yet now, now you showing up on black platforms when before you wouldn't go nowhere near a black platform. Now, some of you say, well, I like how Candace has been talking lately. Um, yeah, some things she's been saying lately makes sense, but maybe she's, she knew the writing was on the wall, so she's trying to make her pivot, try to go back to the black community. That seems that's what she's trying to do. But it's on y'all. You, you, you take her back, but I, I think if, if, if y'all trying to take her back, she needs to be groveling. She needs to be apologizing. She needs to be begging for forgiveness and giving account for all that stuff she said about black people. She has to acknowledge all that. She can't just like, ah, well, you know, no, 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 Candace. So you say you're going to take some weeks off. Okay. Take some weeks off. Fine. I don't know why you need to take some weeks off. I don't get that. I mean, the best thing you could do is actually get back out there and keep going and show them people didn't even mess with you like that. I, like, well, you need to take some weeks off for what? 